This One Degree Outside video is sponsored by the Topps Field Fair, America's oldest fair. You can pre-order your admission, meal, and ride tickets today at topsfieldfair.org and join the fun October 4th through 14th, conveniently located on Route 1, just off of Interstate 95. Hi, Matt Noyce, Thursday Insights. So here's what's going on as we dive into the weekend. We've got a few different things happening. Milton's getting out of Florida. We'll take a quick look at that for you. We have one more cool night with some frost possible in spots tonight. And then Southern New England, I'm going to explain why I want you to watch for next week. We'll talk about that toward the end of the video. We're keeping an eye out for the Sunday shower chance, which I told you yesterday may rise. It has risen and it may continue to rise. So we'll talk about what that means for the weekend plans. And a reminder, our new foliage update will come out in our foliage photos and Q&A segment, which we'll post over the course of this morning. Also, Topsfield Fair, big tip of the cap, and thank you to Topsfield for being such a great partner over the course of the past few weeks. The fair runs through Monday. Please support them. Get out to the fair, and you know what? If you want to come say hi, Danielle and I will be there. We will. Yeah, we're out there today, 10 a.m. to 2. We're out Friday, 10 to 2. And then on Saturday, we're going to be out in the late day and evening. So we'll be looking for you. Uh, there's a chance, that, again, of showers coming in later Sunday. They'd get out early on Monday the way it looks right now, but we'll dive into the weekend details here in one moment. Rain over the last 24 hours we got a little at home obviously the big story has been down in florida if you have loved ones that are down there property that's down there they ended up yeah verifying with over 18 inches of rain in the worst spots generally this stripe of white from tampa to deltona and daytona beach was on the order of 12 to 18 inches of rain that came down significant flooding obviously wind damage done millions without power down there the storm did decay as it came over florida it's going to try and reorganize now as it gets out over the Gulf Stream. But the forecast from the National Hurricane Center is to keep it moving and get it out to sea. And as it goes out to sea, it leaves behind some swell at the southeastern and mid-Atlantic coast. If any swell is going to get up here to New England, that wouldn't happen until we get along about the start of the weekend. But certainly we'll keep you posted on that. And you'll have your coastal marine forecast that we always issue on Friday as well as we go into the weekend. Rain last night into the early morning. Some downpours mixed in. Rutland did pretty good. Other than that, the rest of us, it was pretty scant amounts, even if it did come down hard for a very brief time as the showers came through. Look at the jet stream really cranking up now when you get southeast of New England. There's a phasing going on here. We've been talking about how we couldn't get the jet stream to phase at all over the course of the past few weeks. Now it's doing it. What I mean by that is the subtropical jet with moisture is finally meeting up with the northern jet that's got the energy and the cold air. You can get a storm out of that, and you are. Today is a pretty big storm developing over last Labrador, out ahead of where that phasing takes place. So uh, fairly far from New England, but nonetheless, Labrador, if you keep track of barometric pressure, that storm's going down to about 970 millibars as it cranks up today into tonight. All right, meanwhile, here at home, you got enough cool air. We do frost one more night tonight. And you can see where the lower temperatures are, but one thing that I love to do, and I don't usually talk about tonight in the Insights video. We're usually looking out to the next several days, but because there is a frost potential actually farther south than it's been so far this year, wanted to make sure to show it to you. Notice South Coventry Connecticut may get down to 37 tonight. Usually I look for 36 or colder for the potential of frost. Wilbraham, Northfield, Mass, Winstead, Connecticut, Great Barrington, and then running up through southern Vermont where some of us have had a frost already over the last couple of nights. The air will moderate tomorrow into Saturday ahead of a cold front. A lot of times you can warm a little bit before the front arrives, but notice that during the day Saturday, the front comes through and a new installment of cool air comes in. High temperatures tomorrow, 60s in yellow, include all the way up to southern and central New England, 50s in the north. And once that front comes through on Saturday, you begin the bleed of cooler air. Sunday will absolutely feel cooler than Saturday. If you're making weekend plans, here's my suggestion. Can you put them on Saturday? Because Saturday, you're guaranteed to be good. Friday, this is the map. It looks really good for us, right? Saturday. Yep, the cold front comes through. There could be some showers in the mountains in the morning. You can see this is about 7 a.m. Those would go away. The air coming in is pretty dry. So you're in good shape for a lot of the day. Saturday, a little bit of a breeze will be blowing out of the northwest. Sunday, here's the issue. The jet stream disturbance coming in. We looked at this in Insights yesterday, right? When you are traveling in a fast jet stream like we've got over us here in this pattern, uh, timing can be four to six hours off and a couple days out. Now, four to six hours in the world of the atmosphere is not much, but in the world of our plans, it's a big deal. So we've started to see the chance of showers. Look at this, ticking up on Sunday. If you follow in our app, Noises One Degree Outside Weather app, you can see just in the last day that chance of showers we've raised, right? It may continue to rise because it depends on the timing of the disturbance. But if it comes in a little quicker and you do get showers by Sunday afternoon, it goes out a little quicker. And they would get out of here early on Monday morning, which, of course, is a holiday for many of you not working and a day to be able to enjoy. So uh, we're talking about highs tomorrow running in the 60s for most of us. 
By the time we get to tomorrow night, it's nothing like we've been these past few nights. You're down around 50 or so, much milder night. Saturday, we jumped to 70 in southern New England, but oh, here comes that cooler air. We never get out of the 50s Saturday in northern New England. But remember, I think this is your safer bet for the day, even if it is breezy coming out of the northwest, because after we get through Saturday night and things are fairly quiet, maybe some frost in the north, Sunday, here come the showers. And TBD, exactly what time they arrive, but the later in the day you go, the greater the chance is. And that's why I'm saying if you've got flexibility, Saturday, at least you know, is a lock. Sunday is still, all right, let's see what time this thing comes in. Notice Monday, high temperatures don't get past, much past 50 anyway in the north. Greenville, Maine may not even make it. This is that new installment of cool air, and this brings the increasing chance of frost in southern New England. On Monday night, perhaps down to the Berkshires, that's all right, we've done that this week. But by Tuesday night, yeah, those are some snowflakes possible up in the mountains. And look at this, mid-30s all the way down to interior parts of Massachusetts, maybe northern Rhode Island. So it would be as we get to the middle of next week that your frost chance starts to rise. You can keep track of all that, too, with our 14-day forecast on Noises One Degree Outside weather app. Grab it on the App Store or on Google Play. That's how things are looking for now. Hope you have a great day. We'll be looking for you out at the fair and see you always, of course, at OneDegreeOutside.com.